guys, it's your girl Angel Sky coming at you with a get ready with me video. I haven't done these videos in a long time. I did a couple of them on my channel and you guys seem to like them. So I haven't done one in a while. So I figure why not do one today? Also, I promised you guys a picture or a video of our new edition Ponyo, my daughter's little bunny. So I will go ahead and insert our video over here of the bunny. She is um, eight weeks old. My daughter named her Ponyo. She is black and white. She is adorable. She's a really good bunny. She's a really personable bunny. She's not like shy or skittish. She'll come up to you. She'll let you feed her. She's really good with people. So she's happy about that. Um, we've had her for like almost a week now, so she has become a part of our family and pretty much going through the process of getting this bunny was difficult enough. So <laughs> that's why I'm glad we ended up getting her and she is a good bunny. She loves her. She's a good fit for the family. So I guess all's well that ends well. So there's the insert of the bunny. I'm sorry, I apologize. I thought I put it in the video and I never did. And you guys were all asking about the bunny. Let's see the bunny, why you tell a story. Then you didn't show me the bunny. So there you go. There's a video of the bunny. So yeah, this is a getting ready with me video. I'm sorry, my kids are so loud in the background. I have to do a voiceover and I'm literally doing my makeup in my kitchen so I can keep an eye on them at all times. So please excuse me but if you want to see this look and how i got this look then just keep on watching okay so first i'm going to start with my l'oreal infallible glow lock primer that is the best primer that i have found thus far as far as like drugstore products go so i put that all over my face and then i let that settle while i do my eyebrows this micro fine tip by Maybelline this is amazing because the tip as you can tell is so small that it lets you do like a really tiny hair whereas the bigger pencils and stuff they just make a bigger line and this one is so precise and it makes it look like actual individual hairs instead of like big old chunks so I am in love with this Maybelline micro tip it's amazing um, this time I got it in a little bit of a darker color I do normally go one shade down and the only reason I didn't go one shade down was because they didn't have it um, so this is a little bit darker than I like but I do try to have a light hand instead of a heavy hand especially at the beginning um, because you know it looks more natural that way and then I go in with my lighter pencil and I sharpen it obviously to get the tip as sharp as possible and then I go in to kind of like color match my hair since my hair isn't that dark I like to go in with a bit of a lighter shade so I just kind of go over that making like upward strokes like your hairs would be on your eyebrows and then I kind of go in and I um, pencil them up make them clean and then um, I normally skip a step I know that really doesn't make sense but that's what I do hang on sip of coffee of course before we get to the next step okay so full coverage Revlon my favorite with the true blend since it's you know starting summer I'm not my summer shade yet but I'm also not my winter shade so what I do is I just mix them together and it literally makes the perfect color for me so I always have my summer shade and I always have my winter shade but when I'm in the transition of getting a tan but I'm not full on tan I just mix them together and it just makes the perfect shade so that's what I I did here and then I go over it and I blend it all together being cautious of course by the eyes because it's a delicate area so I just rub it all around my skin and making sure that it's even and um, making sure that I have it well blended. So for this, um, I normally, you know, blend it with the regular, um, the normal brush that I use um, from Real Techniques. And then I go in with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Um, and then I also put my eyelashes on after that once it's all settled. Another sip of coffee. Sorry about that. I start my morning off right. Hello. And then I go in with my eyelashes um, 
I don't know, ever since I started doing this, like a couple months ago, I've just been addicted to eyelashes and I do them pretty much every day. I know it's not the best thing, but I do try to use the glue with the aloe in it so it's a little bit more gentle. And to take off my um, wispies, what I do is I use Meissler water from Garnier and I use a Q-tip and I'm telling you if you use the Meissler water with a Q-tip it literally just glides right off I mean it, it just makes it nice and clean it's not tugging on any hairs or anything like that that's why I love it so much and then I just kind of press down make sure they're even make sure they're lined up to where I want them make sure they're stuck on well because today I'll be going to the pool and I don't want them shifting so, and then I go in and I kind of use my concealer just to wherever I need to conceal. This is the Milani concealer. I like this because it's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Because I realize with some concealers, if they're too heavy and thick, they kind of make like creases near your eyes and it's not cute. So I noticed the Milani one is really... um like a good texture of not being too thick and not being too thin so I use the Milani one every time um, this fair color is kind of getting a little bit light right now since it is summertime and I'm getting a little bit of color um, so I just started to notice that when I was doing this video so as you can see after this I go in um, a little bit later with a little bit of my um, foundation that I use just to kind of blend it because it was looking way too white near my eyes and I didn't really like that um, I don't mind a little bit of a lighter color but that was just way too much so I'm just being gentle by my eyes blending out the um, concealer making sure to always look up so I can hide those fine lines and creases that always helps as I said in my last tutorial um, so yeah I'm just blending by the eyes blending it out and then once I'm all blended out and well blended, I will move on to my eyebrows. Now, as you can see in this video, I do my eyebrows like three different times because as I'm redoing my makeup, I'm noticing things that I don't like about the eyebrows, whether they're too thick or they're too thin or one looks different or the other one looks crooked or, you know, you want them sisters not twins so that's what I'm trying to do with this is match them up but don't make them too perfect but they were just looking super thin before and I didn't really like that so I went back in and I kind of mesh them in the front with my hand to give it like a fade look um like I did before and then just gently go in and fill anything that looks really too sparse so the eyebrows is definitely a pretty long process just because that's the most important thing to me um, is eyebrows. I know other people are concerned about other things, but my main concern is always my eyebrows because I think it can make or break a face depending on your eyebrows. I mean, foundation is foundation, concealer is concealer. Eyelashes are good, but I feel like eyebrows are just everything and they're just life. So I do definitely take a lot of time on my eyebrows versus anything else. As you can see in this video, I did, I did not contour. I did not use any blush. I didn't use any eyeshadow or anything like that. It's just a really simple look. I didn't want to do too much. I want to look obviously cute, but not glammed up because this is an everyday look for me. And I'm just not looking for that glam look. I just want a real clean, nice look. Um, but just not too much because I'm a mother of five and pretty much I'm going to the pool after this so it doesn't really make sense to get glammed up so my kids are bothering me showing me pictures that they drew for me sorry about that it was a blue Power Ranger that my son had drew for me so I'm always gonna get bombarded in my videos it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with that's why I'm doing my makeup in my kitchen right now so yeah right now I'm just making a clean line from my eyebrows I start with um, underneath and then I go over top just to make sure that there's no hairs out of place and there's no lines out of place so it looks more crisp and clean and I have a really good arch going on so after I do that I mean this is pretty much just the finishing touches on my makeup making sure everything is looking right and making sure everything's matching. I do dab the beginning like I showed you just to make it a little bit more faded. And then I go in with my favorite lip color because this lip color is very 
nude. I know it looks like a color, but once I put it on and it kind of dries, it just looks like a very nude color on me. I don't know why. I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's from Remmel, and I don't like Remmel, but I love this color on me. And then I just add a little bit of definition to my eyes um, and put a little bit of liner underneath and on the corners because I don't do a winged liner anymore. I actually do a little bit of a wing on the inside of my eye. I don't know if that makes any sense. It just gives me a lot of definition. It gives me like a very, um, a really nice cat eye without looking like you've done too much. Like a wing liner to me is a lot. That's like for a night out or something. But when you just kind of put like a little wing on the in, inner corners of your eyes, it just gives you, I don't know, really good shape to your eyes and I love it. So that's pretty much it. This is where you see me putting a little bit of foundation underneath my eyes because it was looking way too pale and way too white and it just wasn't really meshing with my face very well for some reason. So it was just looking too pale. So I did go over it and I put a little bit of my foundation that I had left over that I mixed together and I put it all around my eye just so it wasn't so dramatic. Um, and I'm just going around and I'm cleaning up the eyes and I mean, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going back in with my beauty blender to blend it all out and make sure it has like that, not a dry look. The beauty blender to me gives you like a real subtle dewy look. And I like that about the beauty blender. That's always, that's always why I go over it and do that last. And then, so this is pretty much the final touches. I am just getting it all together, looking at it, make sure everything is looking right. And I did forget my favorite highlighter. This is a L'Oreal foil highlighter. And it, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if you're going for a glam look or an everyday look. This highlighter is amazing. Um, I came across it and I just picked it out one day at CVS and it has been like my holy grail because it's just a really nice golden color for the summer. It's not like too golden and it doesn't have too much pigmentation. So it just gives you a real nice like metallic type look and it's just like in the right light. It looks amazing and I'm obsessed with this. So I just go over and I put it, you know, right underneath my eye, right over my eyelid, or I'm sorry, right over my eyebrow, um, on the tip of my nose, and um, my cupid's bow. So I don't really put a lot on. Like I said, I'm not going for a full glam look. I'm just going for something kind of like natural, everyday type look, but giving you a gist of what I do every day for my makeup. So this is pretty much it. This is the final look. As you can see, it came out really nice. I'm really happy with the eyebrows. I love the eyelashes. Those Ardell eyelashes are just my favorite. I get them all the time. The wispy. So there you go. Ready for her day. Ready to take on anything. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.